recording now. Hey! Hey! How you doing? Yeah! Oh! Oh! Oh no! Sorry, we got a cordless mic. I wasn't prepared for this. Oh. Um, no. I got a habit of tripping over them. All right. Well, we'll do it anyway, right? Right? We'll do it anyway. Okay. Looking good. Looking good. All right. I'm comedian Chaw. All right. Now, I want to see hands of branches of service. Okay. We're going to start with Army. Any Army there? Okay. Great. 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 That's right. That's right. How about Navy? Any yeah. Navy? Yeah. Woo! Woo! -hoo. Okay. Air Force. Okay, Air Force. All right, all right. All right, what's next? Give me help me in here. Coast Guard? Mm -mm 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 -mm. And Marine? All right. Anything left? Help me here. All right, all right. Now. Yes, we got space. We got we got lots of space now. We got lots of space. Alright. Now, too often I'm asked what branch did I fall from? I get that a lot. I get that a lot. You know, I come from a fam I'm a military family. My dad was a soldier. He met my mom in Germany during World War II, got married, hence World War Three. <laughs> Mm -hmm. And I come from a diverse family as well. My dad was Cherokee, my mom, German and Italian. Oh boy. You know, that means the German in me wants to start wars, the Cherokee wants to stop wars, and the Italian side wants to switch sides. <laughs> oh boy. No wonder I have a multiple personality disorder. Ah, but the good news is not all my personalities have disorders. So says the blonde side. Mm -hmm. Now, speaking of my dad, a while back he was reminiscing about the good old days, the depression, basic training, and mm, World War II. And I said, Papa, Papa, they were horrible times, difficult times, sad times. He said, quiet child, I'm not through with you yet. Mm. So, you know, about my mom, the Germans, oh, they love to tell stories. Mm -hmm. You know, my mom told me it was the Germans, not the Americans, that came up with the idea to put the pictures of missing children on milk cartons. No, it wasn't milk cartons. It was beer bottles. <laughs> I grew up believing that the St. Pauli girl was a missing child. <laughs> My mother would turn fairy tales into scary tales. She would twist these stories like a German pretzel. By the time I was 10, I knew 15 ways to kidnap Hans and Gretel. Oh yeah. Now, it's really true about Germans. They are strict. Very, very strict. You could not have coffee until you were 21. And all ages had to wait until breakfast to drink their beer. <laughs> Ladies, isn't it true that men are very, very attractive in uniform? How about that? Any hands on that agreement? Yes, they are, they are. Now, nobody can beat the man in brown. The UPS guy? Oh, what a hunk. Mm -hmm. But for me, he couldn't deliver uh, his promise of marriage. That's why I joined the army. Uh, I became a whack. Oh! No, no, no. Did I mention I was in the medical field? And I was in charge of triage. And one of the conditions I had to treat was internal bleeding. So I would have my patients swallow a band aid. Then you can get my heart. A lot of people. 
people had a trouble with the sight of the needles. They did. So to alleviate some of that fear, right before I gave the injection, I turned my head. <laughs> Guys, do you recall those painful needles? Well, do you? Yeah. All right, all right. But you know what? Your suffering wasn't in vain. It probably prepared you for marriage. Any guys that are smiling here are in Yeah, yeah, the wives are probably here too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, speaking of suffering, ah. Uh, we can't forget basic training, right? Oh, I can't either. I was such a bad shot at the firing range that they had to put bowling bumpers between me and the other soldiers. <laughs> One time while I was firing my M16, I put my magazine upside down, found we were at war with China. <laughs> Mm -mm -mm. You know, those lucky National Guard members, they receive more tear gas training. Oh, you know what? The way, you know, the way your eyes tear from the gas, your knees knocked, you felt mm, nauseous. Oh, no, wait a minute. No, 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 forget about it. That was me reciting my wedding vows. Oh. <laughs> again, and again, and again. Okay. All right, I got a question, and I bet every hand will go up that's been in the military. Ready? Ready? Yeah. All right, we're ready. We'll do it, we'll do it, we'll do it. All right. How many of you? got along with your drill sergeant. Is this my gun? <laughs> it's on. Get out of here. Really? All right, let's put your hands out who's been in the military. Oh, put your hand out who's been in the military. All right. Bob, you're a friendly guy, right? I think so. Right, but yeah, I mean, I'm only assuming you would get along with your, what, drill sergeant? No, I do. Oh my gosh, you're kidding me. You, and then the plaid shirt? You been in the military? Yes. Okay, and your name is? Okay. Nah, I, no, you're probably the wrong person to ask because you look kind of tough. I don't think the drill sergeant would, no, you, you too tough, no. You don't have anything, no, no, wrong answer. But, you know what? Oh, I feel like an oddball. All right, well, well, anyway, for me, whenever he presented, you know, he said, present arms, I hugged him. <laughs> I'll go on to something else. <laughs> Alright. Does anyone remember the Claymore Mines? Bold caps. Front towards enemy. You know, they were one-way blocks. That was a great warning. Alright. Leave it up to the military to print that warning on both sides. And they call me blonde. I, I don't get that. Wow. And we can all equate to this. The military, we were always, always running out of supplies, weren't we? Weren't we? Yes. I mean, wow, we were. I mean, we were always running out of supplies. You know, I am convinced we won the Cold War because we ran out of Michael. Oh, yeah. We ran out of that Michael. We did. And last but not least, 
the year. Yes. You know, and it was like what? Three percent? Remember the cans? Right? For military use. What does that mean? Less alcohol. Mm -hmm. Anyway. Yeah, you drank more of it. You sure did. Yes. My gosh. And so anyway. Remember the, uh, I don't know if you did, but the M50 machine gun. Mm-hmm. I fired at 10 barrels. <laughs> and missed. I know, that's kind of hard to believe. I missed. Now that I'm going through menopause, I'm going to try that again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, you know what? I'm telling you. I'm going to... I would be able to take all of them down and without using that little toy gun. Oh yeah, yeah. definitely. But you know what? <laughs> Menopause is not the only aging problem I have. It's my vision. It's failing. Two weeks ago, I was ironing my blouse and cleaning my oven at the same time. I kid you not. I sprayed easy off on my blouse. Oh, you know what I did with the other one. I'm easy on in my oven. Now you guys, are, you know my age, you know we're aging. You guys are aging right along with us. However, you still our whole, you know, you still hold doors, right? Be a point, you are. Yes. But this time, the reason why you hold doors is to keep your balance. <laughs> <laughs> and dating has changed. It has. It used to be a dinner and a movie. <laughs> now it's a dinner and a funeral. <laughs> Yeah, 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 yeah. I went from zero meds to what looks like a pharmacy. But I do have people around to help. <laughs> now, if only I can remember who those people are. <laughs> I have this love-hate relationship with anything dealing with cars. Especially that useless GPS. Uh, now, she recalculated and repeated herself three times. Now she's ignoring me. <laughs> now I have to use landmarks. Now, some people, they'll use, for example, I don't know, malls. Mountains, buildings. What works for me are parked cars. I'll give you a moment. Parked cars. So, anyway, I love working. Well, not working, I, I try to like tinker under the hood. And so I took a hammer right next to the doohickey and worked with the leaky part right next to the watching the phone. Oh yeah, that, that, was, that was a really, really good experience. And so six months ago, I clipped a coupon for a tire rotation. And you're probably wondering why I took so long. Because I can't decide which tire I should rotate. Hmm. Now, does anybody, I mean, couples, couples argue about anything, don't they? I mean, anything. I mean, it only stands to reason that Adam and Eve's first argument was over belly button piercing. Right? 
<laughs> now, anyone here ever do any online dating? You know this is going to happen. Come on, come on. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, right? Right? I mean, don't you just love the profile pictures? I mean, they're outdated. You know, mine were recent. I just have to wait for the swelling from the Botox to the facelift to come down. I mean, <laughs> and everybody, you know, everyone's body type is what? Average. This one guy, well, he was average. He averaged 400 pounds. <laughs> Boom. He took me to this restaurant with a great playground. <laughs> he orders up a chicken salad and then says, does the salad come with it? Mm -mm -mm. Wow. You know, I noticed that military men, they are a lot more respectful. You know, they will ma'am you. Even right up to the time they will dump me. I traveled from the West Coast to the East Coast, hoping and praying for better dates. <laughs> I know, I'm still a mess. Oh, oh God. Yeah. So a friend of mine gave me advice. What not to say on the first date? Oh, that's easy, right? And so I will only give you the top four. Ready? Ready. Yeah. I insist on being cremated. Not on the first date, not a good idea. <laughs> My attorney wants you to sign here. Strong arms. Can you open my Prozac bottle? <laughs> Are we being followed? <laughs> you know, I try to understand love. And I pretty much understand what a woman wants. Romance and how to get that. What women really need is to hear those three little words. Honey, you're right. <laughs> My life is boring. And really the only place I go is the grocery store. Okay, it's boring, but I kind of like to have some fun. So I went up to the manager too, so I went up to the manager. And I said, you know, how can you say that this is a self-based in Turkey when you chopped off his arms? Yeah, I, mean, I had fun with that. I, you know, I did. I, I, mean, I really did. I mean, you know, I don't know what to do. Anyway, so I have four grown children, one of each. I mean, California, that vlog is like, yeah, 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 you're really, yeah, 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 they're trying hard, yeah, yeah, but I don't. And so, I mean, my life right now is, I have a lot, a lot of time on my hands. So I ponder, I think, I ponder, and I think, and all those things. And so, this is what I cannot figure out for the life of me. Ready? They say, not two snowflakes look like. Hey. How do they know that? All right, by the time they find it's matched, the other one would have already melted. <laughs> God, how do they live in the tropics? I don't know. So, <laughs> mm. Oh, boy. This one I finally figured out. If you were a doobie brother, how would you answer the phone? Like, time's up, I love this one. I be doobie hooby hooby, I be doobie hooby hooby. I know I gotta stop, you help me, honey. I be doobie hooby hooby. I mean, that's great. I mean, wow, that, that's great. 
That's right. Oh, oh I'm sorry. Um, I left the world for a minute. All right, now, I'd like to see a show of hands. Who has ever owned a pet, or are they a bone new, or have a pet right now? Come on, aren't they great? Oh, those furry creatures, unless you own a turtle. I, but they're wonderful. Uh, and, you know, sooner or later they're going to need medical care, right? I uh, yeah. And I, uh, oh my gosh, this is what I don't get. This is what I don't get. The vet. All right? The vet will knock on the exam door before entering. Why? Did she really think my dog was addressing? I mean, why? Right? I mean, I mean, last week, it was worse. The vet, the groomer, the lab technician, right? I mean, why? Won't you bring in the dog catcher? I mean, why don't we the net and take me in? I don't understand. I really don't understand. And watch this. My cat mittens, right? She zips right into the house and barely makes it into the litter box. You know? I don't know why. I mean, it's not like we don't have an outhouse. And then there's childhood memories. You know, we all have them. The good, the bad, and the ugly. Which I'm not going to discuss any of those. The sad. <sighs> Do you remember hopscotch? Not scotch. Hopscotch, right? All right, you, you take a piece of chalk, the pavement, boxes, and you write a bunch of numbers, right? Oh my gosh, I couldn't play that game. It involved math skills. <laughs> oh, and then the simple act of flying a kite. I was shocked to find that I reinvented electricity. Right? And then there's, oh, hold on. Sorry. Hold on. Yeah. Hold on. Yeah, hold on. No, I, I, I'm sorry. Um, I, I gotta go. Uh, my therapist, I gotta, oh, she's gotta open. Thank you. You've been a wonderful <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs>